Do you remember how peaceful life used to be? You were a kid on your couch, no technology or anything, just you in the living room. The clock was ticking, the birds outside was chirping, and your only thought was, what do you get to play next? Like, life could be described with three words, simple, fun, and happy. But why is it that as we grow up, as we mature, it becomes dull, it's stressful, and sometimes depressing? What if there was a way we could make life fun again? A day in the life of old Addison, I'm Addison, by the way, anyways. A day in the life of old Addison would consist of, you know, I wake up around 30 minutes before school, and during school times, you know, I play games, I watch YouTube, and then I go home and I'd be like, oh my god, I'm gonna do so much homework, I'm gonna do this and that. And when I get home, you know, oh guys, the new Fortnite update came out, you know how it is. The new Valorant agent came out, you know how it is, guys, I need to test it out. And then by then, it's already after dinner time, it's already getting late, and I'm just telling myself, Bro, my teacher sucks giving us so much homework, but my teacher can't teach for shit. I'd always look for ways to blame, you know, all my troubles with someone else. And I'd still yet say life was hard, that life wasn't as good as it used to be. Even though as a kid, I always thought, oh my god, I'm so excited to grow up because I'm gonna do so much work, I'm gonna achieve this, I'm gonna achieve that. I was dreaming big as a kid, and now I'm just letting myself down. I'm letting my six-year-old self down, and I definitely know that I would not be someone that he's proud of. But something changed because I realized that these days, life doesn't have to be so stressful. Life can be so enjoyable and fun. And it's really as simple as literally, as soon as you wake up, you give yourself a break. I mean, think about all the times as a kid, you know, how many times you just sat by yourself. You know, that, remember that feeling at the start of this video, you know, you just sat by yourself and you're more observant of all the sounds around you. You know, your clock ticking, your birds chirping, and the only thing you can hear is your thoughts. So what I want you to do is every morning, just give yourself a break. For the first time, even though you just woke up, you want to be productive or maybe you just want to go on your phone, give yourself a break. Take a step back from all the technology, all the distractions and go outside. Maybe just sit in your living room with your notebook or something and just write your thoughts down. Just be excited for what life is about to throw at you in the morning. Now think about when you were a kid, something that every child literally does. You know, they sleep early and they wake up early. And life just felt so energized every day. Now, if you think about it, back in the day, life was so energizing, wasn't it? Look at every kid these days, they're all full of energy. But you, you're like this, you know, depressing, like myself sometimes, you know, just we're just like this depressing shell of a human. I go to university in the morning, everyone's like tired as fuck. And when you think about kindergarten, everyone's, you know, excited to play this new thing, you know, it's excited to learn something new. Why can't we be like that these days? And it's definitely not maturity because I literally feel that way and I'm not like a kid or anything, but like I feel happiness sometimes. I feel excitement when I go to learn, do work, when I just, you know, live my life because I realize that I get to do these things. Some people wish they were in your position, which is crazy. Like I literally sometimes wish I was in year 12. If you're in like last year of high school, I wish I was in your position. And if you're in university and you're hating all your courses right now, all the homework, some adults wish they were in your position, which is insane because a lot of us seem to be blind to like how beautiful life really is and we should be grateful. And it's very important that sometimes you don't even have to write it down, but you just sit there and be appreciative of how beautiful life is and all the things you get to do right now. Like maybe sometimes you're thinking, oh, I have to go to school. You know, some people wish they get to go to school. And let's bring back to the question, do you really want to make your life fun, guys? Do you really want to enjoy life? If you want to enjoy life in the long term, look for ways, you know, look for different habits, look for different goals you might have and invest all your time in it. There's a difference between short-term fun and long-term fun. Short-term, you know, like we're talking like theme parks, attractions, you know, drugs, <laughs> alcohol, I don't know. But what's more important is longevity, something that will long-term make you happy as a whole person. Imagine living a life, you know, where you're just sitting on the grass, you know, on a hillside, watching the skies, the clouds, it's a warm weather, so you're just wearing a nice t-shirt, feeling the breeze and wind, and you got there through your hard work, your habits, and you're also extremely jacked, or you're, you know, your nice, slim physique maybe, and it can all achieve by you just starting today and start loving life in general, the progress, and don't be too rushy, don't be too quick into finishing certain goals because I'm be honest it's about the journey not the end guys you know it's very deep thank you guys